Hi, my name is Nancy Parks, and for this tutorial, we're going to be making non-toxic Christmas decorations. Let me get my equipment, and we'll get started. Today's tutorial, we'll be making Christmas decorations that are child-proof, non-toxic, and because my sister has a cat who attacks her tree, cat kind of proof. He's going to knock them off no matter what and chase them around the floor. And that's the reason for the non-toxic. So I drew up a schedule and I'm going to go to the overhead camera and you'll be able to see me uh, make these with the glue gun and she can decorate the whole bottom of her tree temporarily because I know she's very picky and these are all for my sister and then she can change them out Christmas Eve and protect her beautiful glass ones for most of the season and then change them back out for these until the, until she wants to take her tree down and thus preserving the precious ones that she has because um, uh, I saw that cat come flying down the hall and attack that Christmas ball and chase it around and uh, <laughs> animals are animals so let's get started On the website, you will find a download for a PDF, and in the PDF, there are three pages. This, this, and one with three blank balls. On the bulbs, you may draw your own designs. This one I drew too close, so you want to avoid getting your lines too close together. You want nice spacing. Or I went completely outside of the box and drew a duck, a doggy, and a cat. So making Christmas ornaments is all up to you and what you want. Um, what I'm going to do is you also need parchment paper it comes in a roll or in these nice sheets. Um, I have links to anything that I use in the tutorial down in the box below. I put a sheet on top and look through. That way you only need to print your PDF out once or the PDF out once or sketch it once and you can make a dozen or so of the item you wish to make. I use the non-toxic whose gun sticks that are in the link below. Um, you can also use uh, other glue sticks, glitter sticks, whatever you prefer. And I trace the lines on the parchment paper. Um, I'm going to trace the lines through the paper and try to be consistent with the thickness of my lines. And notice I said try and then did not do it. But if you have a thin spot, it, it will break. On the tutorial, I also put a place to put a hook through so you can get it onto the tree. I need another glue stick. I'm going to bring this one. There we go. Oh, even with nice new glue stick, the consistency is a little better. Not much, but you see. I did all that practice for the time. <laughs> anyway. Trace the lines out. See, this won't do, so you need to go back over anything that's built in. Make sure you get some glue there. This 
another spot, so I'm going to go back and get that up right here. Going around and around. This supposedly gets rid of the spider webbing. You still are going to get spider webs in there, which you do not. For your camera angle, I am going to turn this around. Continue working. It's also easier for my severe left handedness to turn the paper. And I got another tin spot, I gotta go back to the paper. So what we're going to do now is to let it cool down, and that takes a few minutes. We don't mess it up going over it. We're rewarding it. We're very good at rewarding things. So we're going to let this cool down, and then we'll peel it off, and we'll have, we'll have a hole there. Yes, I did. There's a very good one. Huh. We'll have to make a new one. The one thing about glue, you know, is you can poke a hole in it. There is a hole there. I'm going to show you while we're waiting for this to cool down what I've done so far. And different consistencies. And I'll show you even a mistake I made. This is a swirl to one side all into one spot. And this is brown and yellow, kind of made of gold. And this, I kind of was offset, like I said, show mistakes. If I was perfect, you know, I'd be dead. Because um, <coughs> only the good die young, they tell my kids. That's why I'm here to make you miserable the rest of my life. Um, there's uh, the uh, star one. This one I did solid. I also do it just by tracing the lines. So there's two ways. You can fill them in or you can uh, just trace them out. Depends on how much glue you got and money. <laughs> and this is a star. The back sides are dull and the front sides are shiny. This was just striping and putting it aside each time. This is the one that it's not very good because it got thin spots. This is the very first one I did and I was having a hard time with the consistency. I now get it thicker. And I made a cat one and it it definitely didn't. It failed. I didn't get the seeds about to break there too. Didn't get my consistency. You have to have some thickness for it to stay together and hold up for you. So you want some thickness to your glue gun when you put them together. So let's go back to the one we just made and peel it off. So you see that process done. And you can test the temperature. And then you de-whip it. And there is a hole in there. I won't use one of my hooks, but see there's a hole in there. And you can get your hook into it. But yeah, we can hang this one. If you really don't like it, you can trim with scissors. I'm not that much of a perfectionist. Because find it kind of ruins the homemade look if you get a perfection. So this is non-toxic glue. It is a little harder to work with I find. But I worry like you said about the animal that like I said I saw in the beginning was the story when I was talking about that attacked the ball and chased it around and deciding that okay this wasn't the same let me taste it. 
So I don't have to worry about that and apologizing to my sister for what happened to an animal. So she can put this safely up on a tree and not have to worry about that. So I'm going to make these in different colors for her and different, uh, different colors I got in the one, the link I provided where, keep dragging these out, red, yellow, pink, white, black, brown, and green. And with these I should be able to make her a nice variety of things to go at the bottom of the tree or the cat to attack. I thank you for watching my tutorial. Um, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell. The one thing I'd like you to remember is to please remember that you are loved.